church I said praise the Lord thank you very much choir and the children choir that was great and I pray that the songs of the Lord will never be removed from your mouth in Jesus name let's pray together father we thank you for this hour we thank you for this time we're asking the oh Lord that you speak your word to every heart and get us ready put us in the ark ark of safety ark of salvation and will never depart out of that in Jesus name we're asking Lord that you open your very heart to everyone here today that your love your mercy your grace and your desire for everyone will penetrate every heart in Jesus name <clears throat> thank you because we know you have answered in Jesus name we pray somebody shout amen God bless you you can sit down We've learned during the time of searching the scriptures together from Revelation chapter 15 from verse 1 all through to the end and you have heard about the things that will happen at that time and yet I want to bring to you that in the midst of all those things happening there is something wonderful which you find in verse 3. Look at verse 3, Revelation chapter 15, verse 3. And they sing the song. Stop there for a moment. While the fire will be burning, while the wrath of God will be upon the whole earth, while the anger, the indignation of God will be everywhere where people will be crying and suffering there is a special group of people there is a peculiar uh, set of people while others are crying and sighing and suffering and burning and they are saying we never saw anything like this before there are some people they will be singing i will be part of them I will be there. Look at this in verse 3. They sing the song of Moses, the servant of God. And the song of the Lamb saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. That's their song. They have tasted of the goodness of God, the greatness of God, the majesty of God, the mercy of God. Great marvelous are thy works lord god almighty just and true are thy ways thou king of saves <clears throat> thank you very much i hear somebody saying sorry that's good when your father calls you don't say what a pity you say sorry sir praise the lord Today we're looking at singing with triumphant saints throughout eternity. That's the subject today. Singing with triumphant saints throughout eternity. We're singing already. We're rejoicing already. Because our names are written in the book of life in heaven. Already, there's the joy of salvation. There is a triumph of salvation. And because of that, in the day, in the night, anywhere we find ourselves, we're singing with triumphant saints. But it's not going to be limited to this day. It's going to go on and on and on throughout eternity. I invite you, why don't you come in? And why don't you come in among the saints of God that will sing forever and ever? 
there will be no tears, there will be no sighing, there will be no suffering, there will be no crying, there will be no wrath, there will be no indignation, just the mercy of God and the love of God throughout eternity. I pray you will not miss your place in Jesus' name. The wrath is not for you. The wrath is not for the believer. The wrath is not for the saints of God. It's not for the faithful in Christ who have come into Christ, who have experienced his salvation, who have experienced redemption, and their names are already in heaven, and angels are rejoicing because of the children of God. If angels are rejoicing because of you, if Jesus Christ said, Father, I rejoice in my spirit for these was because we have revealed your mind your word unto them if heaven and earth if saints and angels are rejoicing because of you part of the joy must be in your heart i said part of the joy must be in your heart and that's what we are looking at today singing will triumphant saints throughout eternity three things we're looking at number one the grateful praise of songs to the savior the grateful praise of songs to the savior you're so grateful he saved you you're so grateful he blessed you you're so grateful he brought you in you're so grateful he made you a part of the family of god and then you have a grateful praise of songs to the savior number two the groaning people without songs or singers do you know there will be people who might be singing here now on earth they have entertaining songs they have concerts they have inspiration they have quite a lot of singing but they only sing for a short time here they go to eternity and eternity there is no song there are no singers for them there is no concert there is no entertainment and day and night there is no rest there is no sleep and we pity them because they do not know that the day is coming an eternal day an unending day that they'll be groaning and growing and sighing instead of singing and it will be for the whole of eternity i pray you will not be among the groaning people in Jesus name number three is the glorious paradise the glorious paradise for saints and shining stars the Lord is preparing a place in fact Jesus said let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions and one of those mansions in glory is for you my brother there is for you my sister there and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive who and receive I said who I receive you unto myself and there will you be forever and ever as saints and shining stars in heaven in paradise I pray you will be there anything that will block your way from getting there the Lord will take it away from your life in Jesus name we're coming to point number one now the topic today is singing with triumphant saints throughout eternity point number one it says the point number one is grateful praise of songs to the savior we're looking at revelation chapter 15 we're reading from verse 2 revelation chapter 15 verse 2 and i saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having harps musical instrument in their hand having the harps of god and then in verse two it says and they sing 
and in the sing in, in verse 3 sorry in verse 3 and they sing the song of Moses the servant of God and the song of the Lamb saying a great and marvelous at thy works Lord God Almighty just and true at thy ways thou King of saints verse 4 verse 4 tells us who shall not fear thee O Lord and glorify thy name for thou only art holy for all nations shall come and worship before thee and for thy judgments are made manifest point number one the grateful praise of songs to the savior there are three things here number one ransom soul singing the song of moses ransom souls singing the song of moses number two redeemed saints singing songs to their messiah redeemed souls they're singing songs to their messiah number three rejoicing sons the sons of god and the daughters of god the children of god rejoicing rejoicing sons singing the songs of his majesty you see it's marvelous they say it's great and they're singing the song of his majesty number one ransomed souls singing the song of moses look at revelation chapter 15 verse 3 the first line there and they sing the song of moses the servant of god who are those people discover them in exodus chapter 15 reading from verse 14 reading from verse 1 exodus chapter 15 reading from verse 1 you know before you come to this you have chapter 3 i've seen the affliction of my people you have chapter 4 he revealed himself to moses he said go and tell pharaoh let my people go and then chapter 5 their problems increase the afflictions increase and then you have chapter 6 the people were saying moses why have you come our difficulty our challenges they have increased and then chapter 7 moses and aaron appeared before pharaoh and said we have a message from god let my people go and pharaoh said who is that god and where are they going i know not that god your enemies will soon know yeah. pharaoh behind your problem will soon know yeah. if he's saying who wait until chapter 14 and then all through there were those plagues that came upon them and then in chapter 12 let the mark of the blood of the lamb be upon the lintels of your houses and when i see the blood i will pass over you have you come under the protection have you come under the provision have you come under the redemption of the lord jesus christ and the mark of his blood when i see the blood i will pass over you that night the angel of death passed through the whole of the land and then everywhere the mark of the blood was the person inside might be weak the person inside might be an illiterate the person inside might be a nobody according to the cunning of the world but once the blood of the lamp is there death will pass over damnation will pass over whoever you are and however you feel about yourself i am not this i'm not that only have the mark of the blood of the lamb upon your heart and calamity will pass over you and then all the houses of those egyptians there was an experience of death there and then they came up and they said you can go you can go they will release you all those paths of darkness that have been threatening, they will keep you in captivity until you will not know what to do. That's the lie of the devil. You are delivered in Jesus' name. And then they came, chapter 14, Pharaoh said, why? Why did we release them? 
why did we go and when your enemies when they wake up all of a sudden and they say they're going to still finish you their end is very near and then the children of Israel saw the Egyptians coming and Pharaoh led the chariots and they were galloping we will take them and Moses said hold your peace stand still fear not you will see the salvation of the Lord and then the Lord said Moses were well, you crying unto me there's a time to pray there's a time to stop praying and praising the Lord stretch your rod and the sea will part in two and the sea parted in two and they went over like you are going over I see you there you are going over all those enemies of the past bondage of the past they will not keep you down they will not uh, uh, keep you inside their dungeon you are passing over in jesus name and then pharaoh said if they can do it we can do it no sir if israel can do it then egyptians can do it no sir if the saints can do it then the sinners can do it no madam and so they came in and God said, Moses, I have the last say. On the life of Pharaoh, God has the last say. On the life of the chariots, God has the last say. The last say is in that road. Stretch that road again. He stretched the road. They all perished. But the children of Israel were saved. They were rescued that's why now you come to chapter 15 and it says in chapter 15 of exodus verse 1 then sang moses some leaders don't sing but then sang moses some preachers don't sing and some uh, you know people who are high there they don't want to open their mouth in the public but then Moses sang and the children of Israel sang the song unto the Lord and they speak saying I will sing unto the Lord you will sing unto the Lord wherever you find yourself song of victory song of power the song of the overcomer and the song of the redeemed it says i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horse and his rider as he thrown into the sea look at verse 2 there in verse 2 it says the lord is my strength and is my song he is become my salvation he is my god I will prepare him a place and, and an habitation. My father's God, I will exalt him. You know what? The song they sang, song of deliverance, song of redemption. In Exodus chapter 15, when you go to Revelation, those people will not forget their redemption. They say, I'm here by the mercy of God, and then I cross over. I'm not experiencing the great tribulation because of the majesty of God. I did sing that same song. The Lord is my strength, and the Lord is my song. He is become my salvation. He is my God. I will prepare him and habitation. My father's God, I will exalt him. Look at verse 11 there. In verse 11, it says who is like unto thee O Lord among the gods who is like unto thee glorious in holiness fearful in praises doing wonders but praise the Lord as the people who were brought out of Egypt by the enablement of the Lord and by Moses are there singing you too you will have your own song and we're coming back to revelation chapter 15 and i'm reading from verse uh, from verse 3 there in revelation chapter 15 we're looking at verse 3 and the singer the song of moses the servant of god and the song of the lamb the song of the lamb that's our savior behold the lamb of god that taketh away the sin of the whole world and because we are 
by the substitution of the lamb he took our place and by the suffering of the lamb he took our sins away and he gave us his righteousness that's why the song of the lamb will be sung and that lamb is a messiah that's that lamb is our redeemer and the redeemed of the lord they are singing the song of the messiah come to number two there number two the redeemed saint singing songs to their messiah what kind of song are they singing revelation chapter five we're reading from verse nine revelation chapter five we're reading from verse nine and this song a new song is going to be a new song only those who get there will know that song only those who endure to the end will know and sing that song and they sang a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou was slain you became a messiah you became a redeemer you became our savior you were slain the punishment was should have born you bought that punishment for thou was slain and has redeemed us has saved us has changed us has made us the children of god you see the people that will sing the song of the lamb at that time on that day in that future time that the people who have been redeemed unto god by thy blood from every from every kindred and tongue and people and nation anywhere you are any nation you are any 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 place you are born any place you are living when you connect with the redeemer connect with the messiah connect with the lord jesus christ and you say he is my savior he is my redeemer your name will go among the people that will sing the glorious song on that day my name is there already i said my name is there already rejoice because your names are written in heaven look at verse 10 in verse 10 it says and thou hast made us unto our god kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth it's not only that we're going to sing we're going to reign on the earth what him in verse 11 he tells us and i beheld and i heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast living creatures in the original and the elders and the number of them was ten thousand times ten times ten thousand and thousands of thousands when you calculate that innumerable ten thousand times ten thousand that draws into millions and then thousands of thousands and thousands multiple thousands into many many millions and billions and it says they'll be sinking on that day now if there are thousands of people that will be there why should you be missing what, what are you going to be doing will you say you never heard that Jesus came to this world and that he shed his blood and that he gave himself so that you will be saved what what are you going to say what story are you going to tell if you were not there you must be there i said you will be there look at verse 12 in verse 12 he tells us saying uh, with a loud voice worthy is the lamb that was slain uh, to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing and then in verse 13 look at this and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are therein in them had i seen blessing honor glory power be unto him that seated upon the throne and unto the lamb tell me what you see there unto the lamb tell me tell me out aloud forever and ever you know over here we sing 
then we have to stop singing because there are other things to do but then over there when you get there because you'll be there your seat will not be vacant your place will not be taken by any other person whatever happens here you'll jump every hurdle you will climb every mountain you will cross every sea you will overcome every challenge of your life and you will be over there you will join the saints of god is singing forever and ever you'll be singing in jesus name let's come to number three now number three is say, the rejoicing song singing the song of his majesty singing the song of his majesty and let's come to revelation chapter 15 i were looking at verse 3 and let's see the content the lyrics the wordings of the song they'll be singing and they sing the song of moses the servant of god and the song of the lamb saying great and marvelous those are the words of the songs they were singing and saying great and marvelous are thy works lord god almighty just and true are thy ways thou king of saints now over here on earth you must you know you you see the choir coming they practice they rehearse before they came here and before you get there you must do some singing over here there's a song in your mouth there's a song coming out of your heart you will sing it out in jesus name there are people who are waiting when my conditions change then i will sing when I have that contract made, I'm telling you, Pastor, I will sing. And when this affliction is over, and I don't suffer this or suffer that anymore, then I will sing. You're delaying your song, and you're delaying your victory. Let me show you. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16. In Acts, chapter 16, we're reading from verse 25. Acts chapter 16 reading from verse 25 and at midnight paul and silas at midnight that's a night a midnight of sorrow a midnight of captivity a midnight of imprisonment a midnight of suffering the people will say when this is over i will sing when this sickness is gone i will sing the saints of god are not like that look at this and at midnight paul and silas prayed and tell me tell me out aloud tell me as if that is what you will do they sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. They were not there mourning and mourning and they were not saying why am I like this? I am an apostle. Why should this happen? I am a minister. Why should this happen? I am a believer in Christ. Why should this happen? I did a good work and why did this happen? And I've been and been following the steps of the Lord. I cast out that evil spirit from that uh, demonized uh, lady and then now I got into trouble. No question. No question again in your life solution has come you're rejoicing every time and at midnight paul and silas sang they prayed and they sang praises unto god and the prisoners heard them other people will hear your singing and then they will see the things that will follow look at verse 26 and it says and suddenly that's how your problem will go and suddenly that's how the miracle will come and suddenly that's how all the all the darkness and the dungeon will turn to light in jesus name and suddenly that's how the foundation of your prison will totally be shattered and broken and you will come out i will come out that's how you can say it how will i will come out and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that 
the foundations of all the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed everyone's bands were loose only a duet only two people singing only paul and silas there was no conductor there was no accompaniment there was no organ nothing just the natural voice of the saints and the servants of god and the sang praises unto the lord he brought all the prison walls down and the foundation down and their their bands were totally loose when you sing to the lord like that here in the present time every yoke will be broken out of your life in jesus name you'll keep on singing until the time of the rapture until the lord comes to take us up and once you get up there guess the first thing you are going to be doing you'll be joining the saints in glory and you'll be singing with them in jesus name i will sing I said, I will see. Look at Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35. We're reading from verse 2. Isaiah chapter 35. We're reading from verse 2. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. Even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. The excellency of Camel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our god and jump down to verse 4 in verse 4 he tells us say to them that of a fearful heart be strong and fear not let the sun come out of your mouth and behold your god will come with vengeance even god with the recompense he will come and save you he will come and deliver you he will come and set you free look at verse 5 in verse 5 it says then the eyes of the blind shall be open even today even today the eyes of the blind shall be open and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped and then in verse 6 it says in verse 6 then shall the lame man live as an heart then shall the lame man live as an heart and the tongue of the dumb shall sing and you hear your amen there yeah. look, look at verse 8 look at verse 8 now in verse 8 it says and an highway shall be there and a way and it shall be called the way of holiness the unclean shall not pass over it you have to wash in the blood of the lamb before you cross to that way the narrow way that leads to glory because the unclean shall not pass over it but it shall be for those the wayfaring men the fools shall not err therein then it says in verse 9 it says no lion shall be there no any ravenous beast shall go up thereon it shall not be found there but the redeemed shall walk there that's me i said that's me look at verse 10 in verse 10 and the ransomed of the lord shall they shall return and come to zion with songs and everlasting joy with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads and they shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away from your life from your heart from your family from your children from the church sorrow and sign shall flee away that's for the people who know the lord the people who serve the lord and the people who are the saints and the servants of god at this time can i show you something i come to point number two now this is so barren and this will bring us to thinking and thinking well and thinking right is the groaning people without song 
or singers in Psalm 137. Psalm 137, we're reading from verse 1. But the rivers of Babylon, you remember Babylon? We studied about Babylon just uh, maybe last week or the other week. Babylon is falling, it's falling. And Babylon will fall. Mystery Babylon will fall. And it says, by the rivers of Babylon, they were such. Yea, were wet when we remembered Zion. Verse 2, it says, we hang our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. Then in verse 3, it says, for they but there, they that carried us captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Verse 4, it says, How shall we sing the Lord's song? In a strange land. The children of Israel found out because of their foolishness, because of their iniquity, because the people who should be worshipping the only true God, they went to worship idols, idols of various types and various names. Eventually, the wrath of God came upon them and they were taken to captivity. And it was a strange land strange no song strange no singers strange no entertainment strange no concert strange no rest of mind and the time is coming for the people who reject salvation who reject redemption who reject the savior they'll get into a strange land and that strange land will be forever and ever and there'll be no sleep there'll be no singing there'll be no singers there'll be no songs there'll be no instruments there'll be no music there'll be no there'll be nothing you know, to cause them joy and all the music lovers of this world if they do not give their lives to the lord jesus christ they love music and they will buy all the CD and the DVD and they will listen and listen and they will go to special concert and special uh, singing arena and they love that but you know you know when they cross over from here to the other side all that will be there will be groaning and suffering and all that will be there will be regret and remorse and there'll be no singing or song there I want to ask you, if you were to live one whole month in a particular place that there's no song, no singer, and there is no sleep, and there's no rest, and there is no entertainment, and there's nothing to bring joy, how will you feel within that month? But then, this one we're talking about is going to be forever and ever and ever. I pray you will not be there the groaning people without songs without singers three things number one the groaning people with no song but sign the groaning people with no singing but sign number two the grievous pain of suffering without soothing songs you know when a child is crying having some pain the mother will carry that child and be rocking the child and be dancing for the child and then soothing song and eventually the child will have peace and then go to sleep but the time is coming when everyone that gets to that other side the dark side the suffering side they will be suffering without soothing songs number three the grim period the gloomy period of no sleep no song no singers and it's a period that extends to all eternity that's why the word of god is coming to everyone today look at this side of light 
and this side of joy and this side of singing and then you are invited to come you can come there look at this other side it wasn't meant for you it's only meant for satan for the devil and his angels no light no rest no sleeping no song no singers and no entertainment no joy nothing to bring relief to their pain look at number one number one there is the groaning period with the groaning people with no singing but sign we're looking at um, at revelation chapter 18 revelation chapter 18 we're reading from verse 22 in revelation chapter 18 verse 22 it says and the voice of harpers and musicians and of, and of pipers and the trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in Babylon in them and no craftsman of whatsoever a craft he be to make the organ to manufacture the violin to manufacture musical instruments there'll be nobody to do that anytime at that time they shall not be found anymore in thee and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee and then in verse 23 it tells source and the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee for thy merchants were the great men of the earth for by thy sorceries by thy occultism by thy idol worship were all nations Deceive. And then in verse 24, it says, And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that was slain upon the earth. That's why there will be no sinking. There is nothing of joy there on that other side, only suffering and sighing. Look at number two there. Number two, the grievous pain of suffering without soothing songs the grievous pain of suffering without soothing songs the pain and pain and pain all through in Luke chapter 16 reading from verse 22 Luke chapter 16 reading from verse 22 and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by angels into Abraham's bosom the beggar he believed in the lord and then sorrow came to an end one day all your sorrows will come to an end all your suffering will come to an end and when if you die if you die before the rapture because the rapture can happen anytime but we don't know when it will happen if you die before the rapture angels will come and carry your soul your spirit to abraham's bosom and to paradise and you will be rejoicing forever and ever no more poverty no more crying no more oppression no more affliction no more sickness all that gone forever and ever in jesus name uh, look at this man now and the rich man also died no time for Christ, no time for God, no time for Bible. I need to pursue that business and there's no time for reconciliation, relationship with God. And the rich man died also and he was buried. And you can tell what kind of burial that was. But look at verse 23. And in verse 23, and in hell, he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. In verse 24, it says, And he cried and said, Father Abraham, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Ah, 
seek the Lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he's near let the wicked forsake his way and the righteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord for he will pardon and abundantly pardon the time the man should have sought the face of the Lord like today like today if you are wise salvation is available redemption is available the man did not ask at that time the water of life is available and the man did not ask at that time it was a busy raking of things that will eventually be destroyed and now he cried father Abraham have mercy on me and sent Lazarus that he may deep the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame and then in verse 25 he tells us and Abraham said son son by tribe son by culture and son by uh, nationality but not a son by redemption son a Jewish man son a religious man religious without being righteous son remember that thou in thy lifetime received thy good things and likewise Lazarus the evil thing but now he is comforted and thou art tormented and in verse 26 it says and beside all this between us and you there is a great goal fixed so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot neither can they pass from this side from that side to us that will come from this that means the suffering will be forever and ever you will not be there i will not be there my family will not be there my parents will not be there my children will not be there my friends will not be there hey tell them tell them tell them that they should flee from the wrath to come it's a place where there'll be no sleep a place where there'll be no song a place where there'll be no singers at all nothing to bring joy to anyone for all eternity look at number three number three is the green period of no sleep no song no singers how, how will you do what will you do if you enter just one week of no sleep no sleep you just couldn't find sleep no song no singers no helper no water no light just pain 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 for one week how will that be I about one month I about one year I about 10 years I about a hundred years I about a million years and yet you just have started and the suffering continues number three the grim period of no sleep no songs no singers Matthew chapter 8 reading from verse 11 Matthew chapter 8 reading from verse 11 and I say unto you here is Christ here is the personification of the truth everything he said was always true and he said I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham like Lazarus and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven then in verse 12 it says but the children of the kingdom to whom the gospel first came shall be cast out because of unbelief shall be cast out because of the hardness of their heart shall be cast out because of rejecting their Messiah shall be cast out into outer darkness and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth look at chapter 25 of Matthew Matthew chapter 25 we're reading from verse 33 Matthew chapter 25 verse 33 and he set the sheep on the right hand 
and the goats on the left hand the sheep my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me and they shall never perish the father that gave them to me is greater than all and no man can pluck them out of my father's side i and my father are one those believing sheep following after the shepherd he sets them on the right hand side and then the goats the one that say i hear but i don't accept i know what you want but i'm not going to do that i know you want me to follow you sheepishly like a sheep but you know i'm a man a woman of my own mind and when i say no to anyone even to god or to christ or to my savior or to the redeemer when i say no i stand by my word all right the stubborn goat will be on the left hand side where will you be I said, where will you be? The Lord is calling you to the right hand side. He loves you and he wants to have mercy on you. No matter whatever sin you have committed, he's the gentle savior and he doesn't want to hurt anybody. He knows how terrible and he knows how difficult things will be on the other side, on the left hand side. And I say, why will you die? I love you. Come. And whosoever comes to me, I will in no wise reject if you have not come today you're welcome and then let's look at the people on the left hand side now and we're looking at verse 41 in verse 41 they shall he say also unto them on the left hand depart from me ye curse into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels prepared for the devil and his angels you know if there is a, a hardened personality that no matter what you do he has never cried he never sheds tears if you give him a six stroke of the cane he just takes it and then he shakes it off he said i can take a 20 of that i can take 40 of that now if you come to the same place as that hardened personality and you are going to have the same strokes given to him to the point he will feel the pain of those strokes and then the hardened person begins to cry and the hardened person says this is too much it's unbearable for me when you are given the same thing the hardened personality says unbearable how about you it's going to be terrible when human beings when men and women boys and girls when they get to the same hell and to the same place of suffering as satan and his angels that suffering will be unbearable you will not be there you must not be there and you must give your life to the lord and walk with the lord all through your life and look at revelation chapter 20 revelation chapter 20 i'm reading from verse 10 revelation chapter 20 we're looking at verse 10 it says and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever no sleep tormented day and night no rest tormented day and night and there is no singing there there is no soothing song there they are tormented day and night remember the devil the beast the false prophet all cast there tormented forever go to verse 15 in verse 15 it tells us and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into that same lake of fire the same place satan will be the same place the devil will be the same place the false prophets will be the same place the beast of the earth and the beast of revelation will be all those who do not have their names in the book of life will be cast there 
you will not be there and that's what you need to tell everybody that you meet tell them the way you know how tell them there's a future suffering coming no song no singing no songwriter no concert no entertainment no joy no excitement no peace no rest nothing and you are telling them what that place looks like they will not be there as they surrender and give themselves to the lord you are saved they will be saved you believe the Lord, they also will believe the Lord. And great will be the joy of salvation right now. And then they remain like that to endure to the end. And we shall be together in heaven forever and ever in Jesus' name. Uh -huh, that's the amen of the corner. Now the paradise. Somebody shout paradise. And look at point number three now is the glorious paradise for saints and shining stars. You will be a saint, you'll be a shining star, and great will be your joy and your singing on the final day and throughout eternity in Jesus' name. The glorious paradise for saints and shining stars. Number one, there is the wonderful works of the King of Saints. The wonderful works of the King of Saints. Number two, the willing worship in the kingdom of his son. The willing worship in the kingdom of his son. And then, number three, is the worldwide witness of keepers and soul seekers you see the people who are going to be there they are not like Cain. they are not saying am i my brother's keeper you see the people of god who have the nature of christ in them they watch over their own lives and they are watching over the lives of other people and they are keepers and soul seekers and they have a worldwide witness let's come to number one is the wonderful works of the king of saints it tells us in uh, revelation chapter 15 uh, we're reading from verse 3 the second part of verse 3 great and marvelous are thy works lord god almighty just and true are thy ways thou king uh, of saints thou king of saints when you become born again a child of god a saint of god it becomes a king it becomes the lord to rule over your life and you will sing even from today you'll keep on singing something will happen to you something of joy something of praise something that you desire that to set me of all people look at the blessing of god in my life you will not know when you begin to sing and then in the night you'll be singing then sleep will carry you away in your sleep you will not see darkness in your sleep you'll not dream of enemy in your sleep only singing and singing and singing you wake up and then you wake up to singing and joy in your life in jesus name if he is your lord if he is your king the king of saints it tells us in uh, luke chapter 19 uh, i'm reading from verse 37 luke chapter 19 uh, we're reading from verse 37 and when uh, he was come nice even now even now at the descent of the mount of olives the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise god with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen you will see mighty works that they had seen because of that they were singing and rejoicing verse 38 in verse 38 saying blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the lord peace in heaven and glory in the highest peace in your heart and the glory of god will shine upon your life in jesus name number two number two there is the willing worship in the kingdom of his son 
the winning worship in the kingdom of his son we're looking in at uh, revelation chapter 15 verse 4 it says who shall not fear thee O lord and glorify thy name for thou only art holy and all the nations shall come and worship before thee all the nations shall come and worship before thee for thy judgments are made manifest you will join them you'll be part of those worshipers why in colossians chapter 1 reading from verse 12 colossians chapter 1 we're reading from verse 12 giving thanks unto the father which has made us meet suitable feet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light he has made you fit to be a partaker a partaker of all the blessings of god all the blessings of the kingdom look at verse 13 special who has delivered us from the power of darkness can you say that for yourself who has delivered me from the power of darkness he has done it i said he has done it he has broken every yoke in your life he has released you from all the oppression all the attacks all the affliction of the enemy every curse has been removed away from your life i can't hear your amen because he has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son he has translated us say he has translated me into the kingdom of his dear son uh, let, let me explain to you let me illustrate it for you here you are and then at your backyard somewhere somebody is throwing a stone to hit he wants to hit you but then he hits the wall and he's trying and trying and you say i'm going to relocate and then you got a passport and you got the visa your page for your fear you enter the aeroplane and this man has a stone in his hand and he's saying where is he where is he they say you are the airport he ran there and then your plane took off and you are now going to be translated from this environment to that other side am i talking to somebody there and then while your aeroplane is up up there this man anybody who says is going to be your enemy that's a foolish man that's a foolish woman and then he picks up his throne he said he's there he's there i know is that by one of the windows there and he threw the stone will the stone ever get to that aeroplane your enemies are wasting their time he has translated you into the kingdom of his son now you get over there in the kingdom of his son that new country where you are this man here who wants to come over and hurt you he will never get passport he'll never get visa you say pastor how can you say that with assurance because you understand if he has hatred in his heart against a saint of god against a child of god against the redeemed of the lord he cannot get saved like that he has to drop all that hatred before he can become a child of god and then when he crosses over into the kingdom of his dear son all the animosity all the hatred all the throwing stone everything has been taken away and he will not be an enemy anymore and so the point is now those of us who are born again were transferred were translated to the kingdom of his dear son and that's because we have redemption look at verse 14 in verse 14 it says whom in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins and once you have that 
you are secured forever and ever and then you offer this willing worship unto the Lord. We're coming to number three now. Number three is the worldwide witness of keepers and soul seekers. And look at something here. In Revelation chapter 15 and in verse 4, it says, Who shall not fear thee, O Lord? and glorify thy name there's some people they don't understand fearing god honoring god reverencing god who shall not fear thee now when we fear god what does that lead us to do malachi chapter 3 i'm reading from verse 16. malachi chapter 3 we're looking at verse 16. open your bible malachi 3 16 then then the day that feared the lord you see that they that feared the lord they speak of one one to another they were exhorting one another encouraging one another teaching one another lifting up one another speaking the word of god to one another then they that feared the lord speak often one to another and the lord hearkened and heard it and a book of remembrance was reaching before him for them that feared the Lord. For them that feared the Lord. You are that man. You are that woman. You fear the Lord and you believe that everything he has said was coming, will come. And because of that, you are walking with God, you are living with God, and you are doing things that God will say. I need to write the name of this man, the name of this woman down again for reward and for inheritance and for all the blessings of God. And it says, These were the people that thought upon his name. Look at verse 17. It it says and they shall be mine says the lord of hosts in that day when i make up my joys i will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him when the day of wrath and judgment will come upon this earth the lord will spare you he said you are my ambassador you feared me you were talking to other people when one nation a powerful mighty nation wants to wage war with another nation what they do first they recall and they call back home all their ambassadors and when their ambassadors have left that place then their wrath and indignation and all their all the things they want to use will come upon them we fear the lord and because of that we we'll speak to our neighbors we're witnesses unto unto the lord and we're witnesses of his goodness and we're calling them come out wrath is coming come out judgment is coming come out indignation is coming the time is coming when people will not be able to see one another egyptian darkness will come upon them eternal darkness will come upon them and god is watching you while you are witnessing god is watching you while you are talking to other people he said that man will be mine forever that woman will be mine forever i will spare him i will protect him and nothing evil will touch that witnessing man and nothing evil will touch that witnessing woman it will be mine forever you belong to the lord forever in jesus name look at verse 18 in verse 18 then shall you return and discern make a difference between the righteous and the wicked and between them that serveth god and him that serveth him not you serve the lord and the lord will keep a record of that service in jesus name now we're coming to second corinthians chapter 5 i'm reading from verse 10. second corinthians chapter 5 we're reading from verse 10 it's saying for we must all appear before the judgment seat of christ 
when you will give rewards to the sage and when you will say well done you have been faithful in a little thing become a ruler and a king and reign over many cities for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done whether it be good or bad look at verse 11 in verse 11 knowing therefore the terror of the lord upon those who have sinned and they have not repented upon those who are very near the time of their home calling and yet they have not reconciled with the lord knowing therefore the terror of the lord we persuade men those are the witnesses and when you witness to them and they come to the lord you do follow up and you keep them in faithfulness unto the lord it says but we are made manifest unto god and i trust also are made manifest in your consciences then he tells us in verse 17 look at verse 17 therefore if any man be in christ is a new creature do I have anybody who is in Christ here today? I said, do I have anybody, a brother, a sister, a boy, a girl, who is in Christ here today? Where are you? The Lord will recognize you. Amen. Your name will abide and remain in the book of life in Jesus' name. You start sinking now and all those problems will dissolve while you are sinking to the Lord in Jesus' name. And then when the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise and we which are alive shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, then will you ever forever be with the Lord in Jesus' name. If any man be in Christ, if any child of God, if any, if any brother, any sister be in Christ, it's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Old things are passed away. Give me a good amen. amen. You don't sing the old songs anymore the worldly songs anymore you don't use the worldly dresses anymore and you don't drink the old drinks anymore and you don't eat the old food anymore all things have become new you don't think the old thoughts anymore you don't follow after the old lifestyle anymore is in Christ she's in Christ all things are passed away and behold all things are become new and then in verse 18 he tells us and all things are of God nothing of Satan will come upon your life anymore nothing of this world will harass your life anymore I was waiting for a good good amen yeah. all things of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation talking to other people and you are telling them be ye reconciled unto to God come out of your sin come out of your darkness and come to the Lord let him be your savior and then in verse 19 it says and to unto which that is to say that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them you assure them as we are seeking their souls as we are seeking to win them to Christ once you come to Christ all your sins and all your iniquities and trespasses it will not impute unto you anymore and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation in verse 20 it says now we now then we are ambassadors for Christ and the way nations take care of their ambassadors in the same way the Lord will take care of you the Lord will watch over you no foreign and no foreign power and no national power will overcome and destroy your life in Jesus name ambassadors 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 of Christ it says we then as ambassadors for Christ as do God did 
beseech you by us we pray you in Christ's stead be ye reconciled to God as we are going about that's what you are telling all the people you meet that's what you are telling all the people that live around your work around you or your neighbors that's what you are telling them be ye reconciled unto God and as you are doing that that's because you fear the Lord and you speak one to the other and you are bringing them into the kingdom of God and kingdom benefits will be lavished upon your life in Jesus name no sorrow anymore no sign anymore no groaning anymore all your bodies are taken away and now you can go and tell other people he's done it for me he'll do it for you too then you bring them in and great will be our rejoicing together in jesus name would you rise up now and then tell the lord everything you have heard the good things you have heard you know what's going to come upon this world and you want to totally surrender yourself unto the Lord. If you have not been among the redeemed of the Lord, ransomed of the Lord, you have not been saved, you have not given up your sin, this is the time to do that and say, Lord, I don't want to sigh on the final day. I, want, I don't want to suffer on the final day. I do not want to have a situation where there's no sleep, there's no song, there are no singers, no concert, no entertainment, nothing of joy, and then they'll be suffering forever ever and ever in hellfire in the lake of fire i want to totally belong to the lord tell the lord tell the lord i want to totally belong to the lord and i want your grace your goodness and your mercy to be me today and whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be delivered is the day of mercy in the time of mercy and you can come for the mercy of the lord for the forgiveness of the lord and for the salvation of the lord even now at this time tell the lord call upon the lord save my soul help me lord i don't want to perish help me lord i don't want to burn forever and ever suffering on that other side of the goats on the left hand side have mercy on me forgive my sin take away my burden take away my guilt merciful god he always answers such prayer whosoever will come unto me i will in no wise cast off push off pushed away mercy available forgiveness available salvation available the grace of god abundant and it's yours believe accept that right now say lord thank you i accept i believe and that you so ever and i take of the water of life salvation peace of mind forgiveness i take that freely it's there it's there tell you rejoice because your names are written in heaven in jesus name we pray and the church say a victorious amen yeah. it's bowed and eyes closed you're giving your life to the lord solidly sincerely and you're not going to turn back anymore you want to join the assembly of singing saints on high you want that salvation now wherever you are just raise up your hand the salvation will come and the strength to remain to abide in that salvation the lord 
will grant unto you. Raise up that hand. Anywhere, anywhere you are, don't be like the fool that knows that fire is raging on, and then it can be saved from that trust, from that and if there action when you action you the raise up that hand as you raise up the hand tell the Lord quietly there believingly there faithfully there Lord I come and I give myself unto you and I will never turn back again. I pray for you now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for all those who have raised up their hands. I pray according to your promise, which cannot fail, that you bring your forgiveness, your redemption, your salvation unto them right now in Jesus' name. Let the assurance of that salvation come in their hearts right now. And the assurance of the grace of God, of the mercy of God that blots out all their iniquity and then that makes them children of God. Let it be registered in their heart right now in Jesus' name. And let your spirit, the Holy Ghost, be a witness in their hearts. They are now children of God. Confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Now, for the rest of us, for everybody, we're going to be from today happy saints of God, singing saints of God, victorious saints of God. And anywhere you are, anywhere you go, sing, your sorrow will vanish away. Your sickness will vanish away. And then make it a habit that whatever is happening, you're singing, you're happy, you're joyful, you're rejoicing before the Lord. And then when you're to sleep at night, make sure you're still singing. You wake up in the morning, the song of the Lord will never leave your life. And then victory every day, success every day, progress every day, rejoicing every day. And yokes are broken every day as we rejoice in the Lord. Raise up your hands for victory, Father. We thank you for what we have learned today. We know that on the final day, when we cross over to that literal kingdom of the Lord, we'll be singing with the redeemed and ransomed and saved souls forever and ever. And we pray our joy will never come to an end in Jesus' name. We are also asking that even today, any situation we find ourselves, the songs of the Lord, the song of victory, the songs of triumph will always be in our mouth in Jesus' name. And as we sing praises unto the, unto the Lord every time from the depth of our heart, all the foundation of the prisons in which we might find ourselves, all those foundations will be blown down in Jesus' name. And then darkness will become light. Sorrow will turn to singing. And sickness will be removed. And will continue in the strength, in the power, and in the inheritance of the Lord in Jesus' name. We shall reign on earth. We shall reign forever. We shall reign over every problem. We shall reign over the stormy sea of every life in Jesus' name. Lord, you said you have given us the key. I pass that key to all your children. And Lord, you open the door of opportunity before everyone with that universal key in Jesus' name. And whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Every time uh, problems will turn to testimony. And the praises of God will bring everlasting joy in your life in Jesus' name. 
rejoice rejoice all the time rejoice in jesus name you are victorious god has lived nothing will bring you down we thank you lord because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray